I'm going to start a new series on creating a basement scene. And it might end up being like a haunted basement. I'm not quite sure how haunted we can make it, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, so here I am in Blender with my screencast keys on. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start by creating a plane. Look down from the top, go into edit mode and press S3 to scale it three times. And I'm going to make sure that I've got the grid turned on. And I'm going to be doing this in a modular fashion. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to create a new collection and I'm going to call this floor. And I'm going to press three to look from the side, shift D to duplicate and rotate Y 90. So I have this piece, hold control and snap it along the grid. And I'm going to pull it up, snap to there, look from the side, go into edit mode and select these vertices. And I don't want this, the, the wall to be that high. I'm going to bring it down one grid unit and I think that's going to be okay for that piece and that I'm going to put in a collection I'm going to call this wall and I'm going to duplicate that and just move it out a couple of units away in fact I'm going to be moving this out uh, a couple of units away as well and this piece here I'm going to actually put in another collection that's going to be called wall pillar and I'll do a little bit of modifications on that. So I've got those three. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create a little pillar coming off of this one. So I'm gonna look from the side, Control R to drop an edge loop in, hold Control and slide it down. I think I'll go in the middle of this to create my pillar like this. And I'm gonna look down, I think from the top, extrude out to there and I think maybe we'll come out a little further maybe just to that one to have it stick out can always change that later uh, for now I'm going to select that face and that face and delete them and so I would have that piece with that thing sticking out I do think I may have to come out a little bit more say we come out one more so I've got that in there now I'm going to select both of them going to edit mode which is nice that you can do that and control R to drop an edge loop right in the middle of both of them shift alt and click both of those but I don't want it right in the middle so I'm just going to snap down to maybe not quite that low but let's look in here and just start about there Maybe there, so it's about a quarter of the of the distance. And I'm going to actually uh, mark a seam there. And that'll make it a little bit easier for that. And I'm going to come back to my plane. And I'm going to control R there. And then I'm going to control B and split this. And let's see if I want to use the grid for this. I want a little bit of this. I may come to that grid point there so that I'm going to have tiles here and then another piece. Now I'm going to take that and just bring it back for a second and look so that the pillar sticks out a little ways. And so I'm going to actually take this and bring it out a little bit more now that I know that. And let's see if I do it in wireframe, I can see that and I'll come out maybe I'll come out to there so when I look at both of them there's a little bit of extra space past the pillar there okay so I'm, I'm just going to uh, take this back now on this I also want a couple of things so we need I'm going to take this piece actually before I do that I'm going to start making materials for this so this is going to be floor And this is going to be wall pillar. This is going to be wall. And I can do the ceiling separately. Okay, so let's do this. I've got that edge there. I'm going to shift D to duplicate. I'm not worrying about snapping right now. I'm just pulling that out. And I'm going to extrude it up a little ways. I'm going to make like a trim on the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to take this, I'm going to break it out for the moment. 
and I'll take it and let's just do this. Um, should be able to just, yeah, we want probably on the bottom too. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to extrude that back a little ways and take this and bevel it. Just bevel it with three. You know what? I think I'll do a bigger bevel, make it a little bit more pronounced. So it catches a bit more light. You can see it a bit easier. Take that and uh, snap it that way. I might, for this, I might snap to edge. And bring it out. Like that. And I want it just to fit, go into there. I'll shade smooth. So we have that trim. And, and then what I'll do is I will take this and this has got the wall pillar. I'm going to be joining it soon. I'm going to duplicate this and I'll, I'll do a snap to snap to edge here. And then I'll select oops, this edge and I'll snap to there. So I have that. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to join those two. So this one, I'm going to get rid of the wall pillar material. So this is all wall. And I'll take this and I'll join that. So that's all wall pillar. And I was also thinking of another thing a little higher up. Let's just take an edge of this shifty around where the seam is, sort of overlapping the seam. I'm going to break it out just to, I don't know, just to make it easier. And uh, let's just extrude up. Again, if it's uh, similar thickness or height, I don't really care about that. I'll do that, and then um, let's go ahead and extrude back like that. Let's get rid of that face. I don't need it. In fact, we'll get rid of that face, and I'll focus just on that and get rid of that face as well. And maybe um, that... I'm going to come back to the grid, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. Let's see, I'm going to extrude that out. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to come out without the grid to about there. Get rid of that face and that face. And actually, I don't want it even I'm gonna look from the front and I'm going to pull this let's see up or down the up like that and let's see let's get rid of that dissolve that edge okay Let's take this and bevel it and see where we're at. I'm going to put five in there and then select these edges. Well, I could go with five, I don't really care. Nice and rounded like that. So let's slash key. Let's see where we're at. Uh, let's go back to edge. Does that stick out too much, or do I like it? I think I might like it. So let's take that Shift D to duplicate and bring it over here. Snap to there. And snap to there. Okay, this one I'm going to join to there. And once again, get rid of that wall pillar. This one I'm going to snap to there. Wall pillar. Now, I'm just thinking of if I was to put the bevel on in general, how this would all come to look. Try 0 0.02, maybe 0 0.01, just to have something on the wall itself. And shade smooth. Maybe I'll put a uh, normal, weighted normal on there. Okay. 
and uh, I'll take this and I'll select there and control L copy modifiers okay let's hide that again so let's just see how it would come together let's put on the uh, grid and snap that to there okay and we'll snap that okay good so let's take both of these now and slide them down I'll go one more and then this one I'll take both of those and one more time get a sense of that if I like the pillars and stuff like that let's try with the sh shadow I'm not gonna see much there eh? I'm just gonna do this it's gonna be pretty bright with just okay so that's what we would have so far Take this. It's the origin of the 3D cursor. Shift D, SX minus one. Put on the other side. Let's let's do a little bit of that. Uh, set the origin to the 3D cursor and Shift D, SX minus one. And I have those, and then I can just uh, duplicate them along and snap them to the grid, just to get a sense of of the hallway itself. Oops. I will put the ceiling on for the moment. I'll snap that back. And that may be flipped, by the way. In fact, we should be checking. Yeah, that one's flipped. So I'll go ahead and, and flip that the right way. Shift D. Let's snap. Take both of those. We'll have a lot to delete. We'll go back to just our basic pieces our primordial pieces of life okay but this is what we come up with for the time being looks a little bit like a hotel hallway but once I do the tile floor and the, the concrete and the, the tiled walls hopefully it won't look we'll have some some pipes in here we'll have some sort of industrial lights and uh, some vents some wires and we will see but that's the basis of, of, of the, the, the wall and floor pieces anyhow uh, in a modular fashion. So I'll leave it at that and then uh, when we come back in part two, we're going to start texturing it because the modeling of the modular pieces is not going to be very difficult. All right, so we'll see you next time.